Welcome back, Legion. I'm in week number five of the program. Just about to start my new cycle, which I'm pretty excited about. So I've made some pretty good progression thus far. Today I just wanted to have a chat to you about uh, training progressions and how you can um, change it up or add variations to your training um, to help you keep going forward and making progressions in, in your training plan, whether it's weight gain like uh, myself or whether it's weight loss or whether it's athletic performance. Um, making these subtle variations to your training program can, uh, can pay off big time. I guess one thing I want to clarify though is I believe personally it's important not to completely change things unless you are going from, um, unless you're changing the goal. So, or you're changing what you want to get out of that, that training um, cycle or training program. So, subtle variations are more than enough to stimulate new growth in my example, or any kind of changes that you want to make in, um, in, in your body basically, any adaptations that you want your body to go through. So I just want to go through today some of the, the variations or the changes that I'm going to make to my program. I'm going to keep exercise um, selection fairly similar, like the structure um, is going to stay fairly similar because that's working perfectly well. But I am going to manipulate things like um, sets and reps. So this means I'm going to add some sets here and there um, of particular exercises or I'm going to add some repetitions. So I'm going to be doing some more repetitions, uh, which leads me into load. So this is just putting more weight on the bar. So one thing, for example, I'm going to change is my complex. So I'm actually changing the style of the complex. It's going to be a few different exercises and the structure of it is different. Um, but I'm actually probably reducing the reps in there. The sets will stay roughly the same the load's going to increase and that should uh, stimulate some different types of adaptations. Um, then we've got time under tension. This one's probably super underestimated in regards to um, muscle growth. But when we talk about time under tension, we're talking about the actual speed of the repetitions. So for, for muscle growth, it's really important to control all reps, but you can manipulate things like how fast you lower the bar down um, in a bench press or how fast you lower the bar down um, in any of your other movements. That lowering phase actually causes quite a fair bit of muscle damage if, if you do it at a, at a constant tension. So I'm going to manipulate a th few things like that. Um, then you're looking at variations, so just purely variations of exercises. So you can do the same type of exercises, but you can change the variations um, of them, whether you're using different implements, so from dumbbells to barbells, or whether you're using maybe different loading. Um, so you could use chains, you could use bands, instead of um, just using your, your plates. Many ways to do that. Then you've got a new exercise, so maybe you might just chuck in a new exercise. I don't think it's a good idea to overhaul your own pro whole program and change everything um, just within a four week block. I think every you know, 12 or 16 week cycles is, is a good idea to change things up, but remember you've got to think about the principle of specificity, so if you want to make um, specific adaptions, there's going to be certain exercises that do that. So I'm going to keep mine fairly consistent. I'll probably just, I really only like changing up the smaller accessory exercises like your curls um, and your ab exercises. I think that's, that's a good idea, good variation there. But your main lifts, I think, need to stay the same the majority of the time. And the last one, which is not, uh, not exactly a training principle but a nutritional um, principle, is increase my intake. So I've done really well over the last couple of weeks, um, eating a lot of food, which is good, but now I need to step it up again. So my training is going to increase a little bit, so my intake needs to come with me. And basically how I change that um, is I step on the scales. If I've put some uh, weight on that I'm happy with, good, I'm eating enough. If it's not enough, then I guess what, I need to start eating a little bit more. All right, guys, uh, thanks for that one. I'll see you in the next couple. Cheers.